So what is the current view of science about consciousness, about mind? Big question. <laughs> Well, if you take neuroscientists, I think the vast majority of them have a physicalist, reductionist uh, perspective. It means although they all agree that we don't really know what consciousness is and we cannot define it in the brain, but they are convinced that with time we'll know more and more about the brain and we'll be able to fully explain consciousness. So, in fact, some philosophers of mind, like Michel Bitbol and then Buddhist, of course, the philosopher, will say, well, what you do is to resolve the soft problem. It means to make correlation between the activity of the brain and activity of consciousness. But you don't really, well, that's what they say, uh, bring a, a uh, show a causation that what you feel as experience is causing uh, those phenomena or if it's the brain that caused them. But the real question is like this. When you go to matter, if you go down and down and down, you come to quarks or particles or the, va the quantum vacuum and then you stop there. The Leibniz question, why is there something rather than nothing, you cannot answer that. It is there. In Tibetan we call chuni, that's the nature of things that phenomena do manifest. So unless you bring God or a creator, you cannot answer that question. Now, what about the mind? Well, you could study the mind from the outside, consciousness. That's what scientists do. And so that was what we call the third person perspective. They look into the brain, they look into the person experience, describe it from the outside. But if you take the first person perspective, you go deeper and deeper and deeper in your experience. Then what do you come to? I don't come to neurons and the brain. I don't even know that I have a brain unless the scientists tell me because I don't feel it. What do I come to eventually is pure awareness, a vivid, clear awareness, even without content, without mental construct. And then I cannot go further than that. That's a primary fact. So that's why we say that consciousness is primary as well as matter is primary. So that debate goes on and on. So let's see.